good afternoon from the bus directory at Disney Springs. You know what this means. We're headed off to a hotel. Which one are we gonna choose? I think we're gonna go with the very first one on the board, All Star Movies. So let's go find bus stop number 18. In all my years doing this, this is the only resort that I've never been to. So I'm excited to go to it and check it out, the All Star Resorts. I don't know how they're set up. Is it like all of them together, the three of them in one pack? Or is it like different resorts? I don't know. It's 18, 19, and 21 are the bus stop numbers. So we're gonna go to gate 18 and see where that takes us to the All-Star Movies Resort. But if there's one main lobby for all three, we'll go check that out too. Change of plans, the bus for All-Star Music is here, so we're gonna go to All-Star Music. King of the bus, king of the bus. Don't mind the people up front, I'm king of the bus. Looking on the map, it looks like uh, all three are in a pack. Welcome to the All-Star Resort. Pass by All-Star Sports first. This is pretty cool. I like the giant words on the outside of the building. Oh. So it looks like All-Star Sports is pretty big. So maybe these three are really big? Here we go, All-Star Music. I like that there's Disney's written really big on the side of the building. That's pretty cool. I think this would be a good Instagram wall, right? Like this is a good color for an Instagram shot. And there's tons of space for you to get the perfect lighting. Let's head into the main entrance here. But this kind of feels like an airport. This is strange. Or like a mall, maybe? This is pretty cool though. Like gold records and a guitar and some sheet music. Pretty neat. Also this giant, uh, this used to be down at Downtown Disney for the Radio Disney Music Awards. Kinda looks like normally we would've been parking over there in order to come into the check-in area, but because we took a bus, we came in from this direction over here. Hey look, there's Loretta Lynn and the Beach Boys and Elton John. Let's start out with uh, Maestro Mickey's, the little gift shop here. Oh, this is cool, it kinda looks like Rock and roller coaster, like a backstage area. There's a little sundry section back here where you can get all kinds of drinks and like donuts. And then maybe if you forgot your toothbrush or a comb or maybe Advil or something, you can get it from here too. Or if you'd like to, you can get coffee and uh, beer and wine and wine coolers and two liters of soda. It is kind of a vast difference between the theming in here versus the theming at the Coronado Springs gift shop because this looks like rock and roller coaster, like not a lot of theming, like a backstage area. The one at Coronado Springs was very themed. No. They also don't have any like uh, resort specific merchandise here that I could see at least. From Maestro Mickey's, let's make a right down this little hall of the Hall of Fame people up here on the wall and head towards the food court. Let's see what they have available at the intermission food court. So a giant slice of pizza, a burger, a regular full on pizza veggie burger, and chicken breast nuggets. That's that's not a lot of stuff. Maybe that's just for lunch. Because it says coming up next for dinner, you can get barbecue ribs, salmon, roast pork, or roast chicken, uh, grilled chicken, macaroni and cheese, a cheeseburger, a caprese sandwich, a chicken caprese sandwich, a veggie burger, or chicken breast nuggets, or the pizza as well. Oh, that's pretty funny. You can get uh, alcoholic milkshakes. I came across the dessert section first. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that looks really good. I like this thing. It's got like a rainbow and marshmallows and blue icing on top of it. It's called Over the Rainbow Cupcake. I just, I want this cookie. If it wasn't $3 for this one cookie, but it looks really good. Some muffins and such, and it looks like on the Disney dining plan, these are snack options. Grab and go section. This is a little sandwich, it looks like. A very flat sandwich. A kid's power pack, some fruit, some salads, some Uncrustables, a pickle, uh, a parfait. Everybody loves a parfait. Here we go. Egg salad with a pita. It's kind of hard to see. It's all fogged up. Uh, a cheese, a fruit and cheese plate, a vegetable tortilla wrap, and then some croissant breakfast sandwich, it looks like. There you go. There's like uh, like sub sandwiches, some some salads. Some bigger stuff, and then we got just drinks. Drinks galore. Drinks galore. And then there's all sorts of stuff. Drinks, coffee, and then we'll just past that is a seating area indoors, and then it looks like there's also seating 
outside if that's what you want. Now they have a special mug washing station for if you get a refillable mug, you can clean it out so it doesn't taste like the last drink that you had. The decorations around here are all from the Mickey Mouse shorts that will be the basis for Mickey's Runaway Railway. So it's like Disco Goofy and then the disco ball falls on his head. I like how all the main characters are in the marching band and Mickey's getting the cymbals crashed over his head, Donald's getting squished, Daisy's just like rocking out on the saxophone, and then Goofy is leading the bunch. Across the way from the intermission a food court is Notable Games Arcade. This skee-ball looks like it came out of Tron. This is cool. Oh, this is like a new version of skee-ball. I want to play this. This is awesome. Lots of lots of really cool games going on in here like speed of light one of my favorite games uh, i missed this from disney quest we'll put a link to the disney quest video up here so you guys can see the last time we played this it looks like you have to get some sort of a card in order to play these games like you don't just put coins in them but heck yeah like carnival games there's a game that jen would be good at super shot so right outside of notable games i feel like they they're trying to trick you here but having a change machine even though the arcade does not accept quarters why is this change machine here another side note here is another fuel rod station to switch out your charging fuel rod well i guess you could use the quarters from the change machine here at the pressed penny machines whoa this one's expensive whoa this is a pressed quarter machine well that's interesting from the notable games arcade we will head out into the main area check out the pool and some of the surrounding areas here at All Star Music. The food court is right behind these walls, and just outside is Singing Spirits, an outdoor bar that you can have a, a drink made up at. And then I think maybe you could take that drink over here to the pool. Wow, look at that. That's kind of a big pool. And they got the three caballeros in the middle, squirting their squirt guns. After looking at this map here, it looks like this pool is in the shape of a guitar. It's pretty neat, all right. After looking at this map, it seems as if this uh, resort is big enough to make it one whole video, so. Looks like we're going to be splitting this up into three different videos of all of the different all-star resorts. We're here at Melody Hall, which is where the check-in was. And the two buildings on either side of this guitar-shaped pool are the Calypso buildings. And they've got, uh, what are those called? Morocco's. Giant Morocco's on the outside of them. I like that they have a foosball table out here by the pool too. That looks like fun. Just outside of that guitar-shaped pool, I came over here because I thought this was just the bathroom building. But as it turns out, this is a full laundry area with washers and dryers, so you could do your laundry here. Yeah, it looks like you have to use a credit card in order to use the laundry machines. But they also have laundry detergent and stuff like that in here too. These are pretty high-tech laundry machines. $3 to use them, not too bad. So there are definitely bathrooms here for the pool, and there's also mosquito prevention for when you're out here at night to keep the mosquitoes away. Here's kind of a close-up on the Calypso buildings. They look pretty nice. It's very, very green. Very green indeed. Oh look, it looks like a giant marimba. Is that right? Is that a marimba? I think it is. It's cool. I'm underneath the marimba right now. Look, there's a monkey. I like the theming of this. It's not as intricate as some of the other resorts that we saw, but it's still pretty neat. One thing that I've noticed about this resort and the last two resorts that we went to, Caribbean Beach and Coronado Springs, there's a lot of outdoor sections. And if you guys can see, off in the distance here, there looks like there's a storm of brewing, and that would not be good for getting to your room. Like, there's sections here where you could, like, duck underneath in between buildings uh, and walk underneath an overhang to get out of the rain, but for the most part, if you get dropped off by the bus up there, you have to run into the lobby and then go between buildings. So, there aren't very many hotels at Disney that actually you could get off the bus and be covered all the way back to your room. Just something, like, a little tidbit to know when planning your stay at Disney, especially because it does rain here a lot. Like in the summer especially, it's always raining. Oh, on the other side of the Calypso building, there's a giant bongo drum housing the stairs up to the different levels. That's pretty neat. So here is the guitar-shaped pool that we just came out of. The laundry room was all the way up front there at the front of this pool, and it looks like there is either another laundry room and changing room combination, or this is just another set of changing rooms here. And we're turning and heading towards the jazz section. Oh, it's got a big old saxophone on the outside of it. It's pretty neat. I like that they have like giant, oh, there's a trombone, like giant instruments on the outside. I like that they put the time signatures too. So it's three eighths time, the Calypso is two four time. Pretty cool stuff. And I like that each building has two levels, or it has three levels, but the top level is the treble clef. 
and the middle level is the bass clef. The jazz section does not have its own pool, but it does have a very nice fountain area to sit around in, which is, it looks kind of relaxing, like a little shady spot over here underneath these crepe myrtle trees. Seems like a very nice relaxing spot to sit, maybe like read a book. Although it is very hot in Florida right now, I would imagine in the winter months, this would be nice. Look at this drum set. Imagine the giant drummer that would have to play this drum set at the All-Star Jazz Band. And then you can see up here, this is the jazz in section. And I think right behind this drum set is the elevator that can take you up to the different levels. And of course, each section has two different buildings. So like this one over here also has a drum set, but they're identical. I don't know how you tell the difference between one side or the other. I'm sure it has to do with your room number. Oh, we found the piano pool. So the first one that we went to was the Calypso pool and that was shaped like a guitar. It looks like the changing areas at this pool are shaped like giant radios. Pretty neat. Also, we are headed over towards the Rock Inn. So I think we're gonna have, we have like a circle to go around here where we go to the Rock Inn, the County Fair, and then back over here to Broadway. The sign also kind of explains the question that I was asking earlier. So I'm assuming it's Calypso one and two, Jazz three and four, County Fair five and six. Oh no, Rock Inn is three and four, uh-oh. Oh dang, now it's confusing. So the Jazz Inn section is to our right, the piano pool is to our left, we're heading towards the rock and roll section, shaped like giant speakers, which would be maybe controlled by this stereo here. And there's guitars everywhere. Let's go have a look. Oh, this is kind of interesting. So this section over here has like a big grass strip right down the center. I don't, maybe it looks like the road, right? So there's like a center lane because it's like fast cars, rock and roll. So there's like a road down the center here. And then this sort of looks like I don't know why they put these trees here in this sidewalk. I guess it looks like the road here is made of grass and then each little driveway here leads up to this section, the, the pink and blue section. Should we tell them that their Stratocaster is missing a pickup? I'm gonna tell them. It's also missing a switch, but, well, and the strings, you know. But I like this, the giant microphone that says WDW. And then over here, looks like a giant jukebox. I feel like this should be 4-4 time? Yes, no? Correct me if I'm wrong. Every time you see a picture of All-Star Sports, this is what it is. All-Star Sports, this is what it is. All-Star Sports. Picture of this jukebox with the checkerboard floor underneath it. Looks kind of faded to me. I like that this section here, just underneath, or just in front of the elevators, which I'm standing underneath the jukebox thing here, I like that it looks like a giant record with a Mickey right in the middle of it. All right, so now that we've seen the rock in section, I think we need to head back this way and start to head over towards the county fair section. I don't know what this green area is. It doesn't really fit. I think it has to do with drainage. Maybe there used to be something else here, like a giant guitar or something. Maybe there was a car here. That makes sense, right? Because this looks like the road, but it's not here anymore. This is what is considered a value resort, and I'm not seeing anybody decorating their windows like they did at the moderates that we were looking at before. Hmm. Came into the piano pool section because I wanted to see Ariel and Sebastian and Flounder over here. And there's these piano keys here too but I wanted to come over and see Ariel, who's strumming the guitar. Do you think electric guitars work underwater? I wonder if this is like a splash pad, like it has little sprayers or something on it. What kind of music do you think Ariel listens to? This is kind of a nice feature. Every single like chair out here has a towel on it for somebody to use if they use that chair, and then they can just return it into this little section right here. So from the rock and roll section, we turn to the left and we head to the county fair section. I like that they have like, it's decorated with semi trucks up here. I have no idea what this thing is supposed to be, but that's what's covering the stairs. Do you guys know what that is? It wouldn't be a Tim Tracker video without me getting something wrong. This is country fair, not county fair. So right in the center of country fair is like a little picnic area here. And it looks all Western and like deserty. Then we turn and look at some of the buildings. I think I like the design of these buildings the best out of all of them that I've seen so far. You got a banjo, a fiddle, and some big old cowboy boots, and a bolo tie. Oh, there's a couple of windows up here that are decorated. Like this one's decorated with Christmas lights and it has like Star Wars stuff all in it. And then this one says happy birthday on it. Maybe they're like adjoining rooms. It looks like somebody has attempted to climb these boots a few times. That's why they had to put a no climbing sign on it. But I enjoy that there's a Mickey here on this giant cowboy boot. Do you think they sell these cowboy boots anywhere? Because I would wear them and I want that Mickey on cowboy boots. There's the piano pool straight ahead of us is the entrance to the picnic area. It's kind of uh, far away from everything, but this is nice. 
You just gotta be careful because there are cacti over here. Don't want to poke yourself with any sort of cactus quills or anything like that. I think these are giant aloe plants. This is nice though. Like it's very nice in the shade here. There's a lot of uh, ashtrays though, which is kind of strange. Maybe this is the smoking section. The lights out here look like camping lanterns. That's cool. I'm gonna head all the way out here to the edge of the property and have a look past this little fence and see what's over there. It kind of looks like there's a little retention pond area. Ooh, there is a little retention pond area back here. Maybe there'll, you'll see a turtle or something like that one day if you're out here. So I'm all the way at the end over here and this is where I was. I'm gonna head back yonder and see what it's like on the backside of the country fair <laughs> buildings. This is pretty, pretty much out in the woods, isn't it? Wow. I wonder if you ever see like turkey or deer or anything come up here. Because there are turkey and deer that live in these woods. Although, you're probably more likely just to see a rabbit or a squirrel. Alright, so I've made it out the backside of the country fair buildings over here. And this is the stereo that's on the side of the piano shaped pool. And now we're heading over towards the Broadway section. I think this is neat because it looks like the backstage area of a Broadway theater. It says stage door. Oh, I like they're taking like the Abbey Road picture there. That's kind of fun. It looks like the decorations on this building are top hats, canes, bow ties, and gloves. For those of you guys from New York, is this what Broadway looks like? I've never been. Oh, look, here's 34th Street. Wonderful witness a miracle on the corner of it. Do you guys hear it? They're playing Newsies. Oh man, I would love to stay over here. Here's the corner of Times Square and Broadway. And just like Times Square, there's billboards with lights all around them for different musicals, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Mary Poppins, The Lion King, uh, that seems like it, but the big old Broadway sign up above it, I bet you this looks awesome at night. Oh, and there's like a little fake ticket booth here. And there it is, Newsies the Musical. I like this, this looks like, I guess, their, their representation of Central Park. This is cool. Yeah, this is nice, little like benches here to sit on and like hang out. Oh, it smells like cigarettes though, because uh, for whatever reason at this resort, every trash can has a cigarette ashtray on the top of it, which is kind of interesting. I didn't realize that that's how it was. I came out to the parking lot of the Broadway section because I wanted to see what it looked like from this direction. So after you park your car, you come through the Central Park area and head into the Broadway section. Is this how it is? I've never been to New York. Well, I've been to New York, but I've never like gone sightseeing. So is this like you walk through Central Park and you end up on Broadway? Does that happen? But we're on our way back towards the piano pool. Country fair over there, coming out of Broadway. Uh, rock and roll straight across the way. One thing that I think is kind of interesting is the piano pool is the smaller of the two pools, but it has the most amount of buildings around it. So like the end of the jazz building, rock and roll, country fair, Broadway, and then the other end of this jazz building are all closest to this pool but it's the smaller of the two. The only thing that's around Calypso Pool is the other end of the two jazz buildings and the Calypso buildings. It's further away, the bigger pool, the guitar-shaped pool, was much more crowded than the piano pool. Also, this sign confirms my suspicion that each pool does have a laundry area in one of these buildings. The one that we showed you earlier by the Calypso Pool and then one of these two stereos has laundry in it. Walking around the back of the drum set that is in front of the jazz in section and there's not even a back to this bass drum magic ruin as we're passing by the calypso pool again one thing that i thought was kind of interesting about this resort seems like some of the windows have been replaced but some are still the original windows that can open which is uh, very interesting to me i wonder why only some of them are the windows that can open it seems like every other one almost back up here at singing spirits and i just noticed there was a board out here with the different pictures of the different drinks you could get There's another one of those helicopter tours flying over top of us. And that'll do it for us here from the Disney's All-Star Music Resort. This is what they call a value resort. And like I said, it's kind of noticeable that it is a value resort. You don't get as much theming as the other resorts. And there's like one restaurant, whereas maybe at some of the other resorts, there might be two or three restaurants, you know, and there's like just one outdoor bar up at the front here, whereas like the other places, there might be two or three bars. I don't know. It's kind of noticeable the difference between the value and the moderates and the uh, high-end resorts. We'll keep looking and just give you guys videos of everything so that you guys can make your own decisions. These are definitely way cheaper. They're also very far away from Magic Kingdom. Uh, these are out by Animal Kingdom, which is the furthest away theme park from all of the other theme parks. So 
I don't know, just a little bit of information for you guys. Let's head back to the bus because it is getting hot out here. And we need to head back to Disney Springs to get to the car. And now when I say the theming is different between this and a moderate resort, I think a prime example of that is the pool at Coronado Springs. Like it was shaped like, or the pool was themed like a dig site with a huge like waterfall and a water slide and it looked like a pyramid, like a Mayan pyramid almost. This pool was shaped like a guitar and it had the three caballeros squirting water, but still it wasn't like a pyramid and a dig site. You know what I mean? This is where uh, taxis and I think maybe the Magical Express would drop you off to enter in and check in for all-star music. And there's a red carpet here leading into the main lobby. Ooh, there is like Little Mermaid trivia outside of the gift shop here on this whiteboard. I think the most important question is, what kind of animal is Sebastian? Our bus is finally here. We're headed to Disney Springs. And here we are back at Vinnie Camuto's shoe shop. Maybe I'll have to give Planet Hollywood another try because they're playing Powerline. It looks like we're leaving right at the perfect time. Rain is coming. So we will be back to check out the other two all-star resorts at a different date. As for me, I am off and I will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.